Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. It's a great pleasure to be here in front of you presenting uh, my project. So tonight, I want to talk about Lexi. Uh, as Julie told you, my name is Adrian. I'm a lawyer by trade. I used to work at a corporate law firm uh, here in Brussels. And uh, as you know, or as you uh, may, may not know, uh, corporate law firms um, sell uh, legal advice to their clients. And this uh, knowledge, this advice is very, very valuable to them. And knowledge uh, today is accumulated in legal documents, uh, so models or templates that we as corporate lawyers can use and reuse to address the specific needs of our clients. And my day as a junior corporate lawyer was uh, to check the legal validity of those legal documents, check whether those documents were up to date with the latest changes in the legislation. And what it basically meant is going on a website like this one and scrolling up and down uh, all day long, taking a legal document, looking for reference of an article of law, and checking it off with the corresponding article um, on this beautiful website. As you can tell, at the end of the day, this is uh, how you look like. Uh, it's not only, um, yeah, I, I, I'll throw the word boring, uh, but it's also, it uh, takes a lot of time and it costs a lot in errors, which in the legal world can have a legal, uh, a severe uh, consequences. Um, so, uh, from this, I, uh, so back at the time, I was thinking, well, uh, what if a machine could do all the dirty work? What if a software could check the validity of a legal document in a fraction of a second and with no single error associated with that? And from this idea was born Lexi. Lexi helps legal professionals manage their legal knowledge. It's a powerful software, that, uh, and uh, its uh, unique value proposition is to render legal documents uh, responsive to law changes. And I have been uh, spending uh, the last months building a very small MVP with my uh, little uh, code, uh, coding knowledge, and it, it will go like this. So this is the Lexi uh, site. Um, you, uh, as a corporate lawyer, you can go to the, to, to, the, to the website and see all your documents listed, and you can see that they are all up to date as of now. So let's say a day has passed, and a change has been made in the legislation. Well, you get uh, an instant and live notification on your dashboard, and you can see that this last document has changes in the legislation. And when you click on it, you have a uh, um, live and uh, comparison between the old and the new version of the article. For, for this change, it's only one sentence. You can mark it up as still okay as you're an experienced lawyer. Uh, this change is a little more tricky because you have a whole paragraph that has been deleted. This is something as a lawyer you, need, you don't know yet. So you, you allow yourself time to discuss the matter with your team. Click it off as pending. And when you go back on the dashboard, you can see this document as pending. So it has issues. But all your team uh, uh, but, uh, can, can still use the first uh, two documents which are up to date and you don't have to go through the long process of verification every time you use it. Do lawyers care? Well, um, so this, this was my, my, my first intuition and I've also spent the last month talking to uh, a certain number of uh, lawyers. And these are the, uh, a couple of metrics that I want to share with you. Uh, 45 minutes every day. This is the average time spent by a junior corporate lawyer uh, doing the job I described, mentoring law changes and uh, verifying the uh, validity of legal documents. This amounts to more than uh, 1,200 hours every year for a law firm staffed between 5 and 20 lawyers. In costs, turn, turn that in costs and you arrive to uh, 21,000 uh, uh, euros every year uh, in uh, loss of revenue for that matter. The second question I wanted to ask myself is, is there a market? Well, uh, there is one. It's called the French legal market, and I have to tell you why the French and not the Belgian one. The short answer is because of open data. French, France, the UK, Germany, pretty much almost every civilized country on, uh, uh, in, the, in Europe <laughs> have, have their laws structured in open data, which makes them really, really easy to access by a computer. It's not, as you mentioned, not uh, yet the case in Belgium. Soon enough it will arrive, but in the meantime, uh, it, there's an opportunity here to, uh, to, to, uh, to look into a big uh, monolingual uh, uh, country, which is our uh, best friend, France. And if we look at the, the corporate law firms there, 
uh, with a staff between 5 and 20 employees, which is the targeted uh, customer segment, we arrived to a bit more than 1,800 uh, law firms, so potential clients. Um, and then a last question I, wa I wanted to address is how much. So you remember the 21,000 uh, uh, euros uh, figure that I showed that I just sh showed you. Um, this is like a, a pricing sample that's, uh, that uh, would make sense. And in the, um, and the middle uh, section would correspond to, uh, to the, 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 a corporate law firm between five and 20, uh, five and 20 lawyers. So this, was, this will fit into uh, this uh, market. And what's the next step? Uh, last question from tonight. Well, the step is Lexi needs you. It's, uh, uh, it needs two different kind of people. The first one is uh, a technical uh, co-founder that uh, could help me to uh, build a robust MVP and especially transforming what I just uh, displayed to you, a web application into a Word plugin that can be seamlessly integrated in uh, all uh, office environments of, of law firms. And the second person I'm looking for is a business schedule, of course, with preference in the, uh, the uh, who has experience in the legal market to help me out uh, and uh, guide me and, uh, and, uh, and also uh, maybe invest a little bit of his own money. Uh, so if you're interested in knowing more, if you have a few more questions about Lexi and the project, uh, please come uh, talk to me uh, right after the presentations. Thank you very much for your attention.